finally off that 14 hour flight from Melbourne and I am pumped. Uh, first stop to the hotel. I'm actually staying near the airport. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go in terms of getting into the city and that, but I'm only here for four days. But well, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. How's your day been? Uh, not good. Not good? No more customer. Uh, okay. You are my third, third person, you, you are third customer. There you go. Right now, right? No, it's our summer at the moment. Uh -huh. So it's about um, 30 degrees, 35 degrees. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you from Dubai? No, sir. I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. Whereabouts? Uh, in Punjab. Very nice, yep. Yeah. What made you move here? Uh, yes, before I was Saudi Arabia. Yeah. After I moved there in Dubai. Mm -hmm. But mm, I think in future I will move uh, maybe your country, Australia. I think Australia is very good. Thank you very much. Yep. Well, finally in Dubai, in the hotel room, and I tell you what, for the price I paid for this, I cannot complain at all. I'm gonna go for a walk, go play some night golf, and then head into the city afterwards. Let's go. It's nicer than California though. California's dirty, LA's dirty. If you guys have ever been to Los Angeles, place is a dump. And so far, Dubai's been pretty clean, so. Comparing it to California is probably a bit of an insult to Dubai, if I'm being honest. So, despite Google Maps taking me to walk across a major freeway, other than that, the view of the golf course, hell yes, absolutely gorgeous. The Burj in the background, the city skyline, the sunset. Oh man, I'm so keen to play. This is gonna be crazy good. I am pumped to play this course. So it turns out you can't walk there. I uh, I just stopped and ordered an Uber. So Uber says it should be here in two mi one minute now. So yeah. If uh if GPS says you can't walk it, it's probably telling you that for a reason. So lesson learnt today. Yeah. How are we? Good yourself. Oh man, this place is insane. Oh my god. Alright, that was the second most insane round of golf of my life. It doesn't beat St Andrews in Scotland. And I don't think any round of golf ever will, but to play under lights at Dubai Creek and Yacht Golf Club in Dubai, just mind-blowing. I've decided to make the trip downtown and uh, we ended up here. I think this is the most famous building in Dubai, possibly the most famous building in the world, so yeah. And uh, let me just say, oh my god, this thing is massive. No words. Absolutely no words. Wow. Wow. Alright, morning to everyone. I um, I think jet lag caught up to me last night. I don't know how much I recorded. I don't really know if I got anything good or not. And I know my energy was super low. But I got a really good night's sleep last night. This bed is super comfy. Um, and yeah, I've got the Desert Safari Tour today. So pretty keen. Breakfast is done, now heading to the public transport at the airport um, and heading to the Dubai frame. Slight change of plans, I, uh, I just checked Uber and it was only 8 Australian dollars to go there. So instead of worrying about the public transport, I'm just Ubering it. Yeah, 
This has to be one of the most weirdest tourist attractions I have been to. Don't get me wrong, this thing is massive, but I don't understand the point of it. That is weird, but it's really cool. It's hard to fathom what these guys were able to do in a matter of years. And then you head to my hometown and we can't even get a rail system to the airport after however many years. It's just absolutely insane. The time frame these guys do things is at next level. Friend done. Now it's time to walk, grab some lunch, and then get ready for the desert safari tour, which I am super keen for. I cannot wait. Yes, it's very touristy, it's set up for tourists, but if you come here, you're a tourist. So do the touristy things. That was um, that was excellent, 10 out of 10. Still got a little bit to go yet, so I still got the, the rest of the safari tour. So still got camp tonight, still got the barbecue, still got the fire show, uh, the camel riding, the dune bashing. So super excited for all that. But first off the list was the quad biking and yeah, absolutely loved it, 10 out of 10. I did have to laugh when the tour guide said, uh, Please be very careful, no insurance claims. And um, yeah, sorry mate, I am fully sending these things. Part of the seven hour package includes dinner at a camp in the desert and a fire transfer. All set up, ready to go. Yo, this dish is gonna be crazy. That is so good. That is day one here in Dubai done. Massive shout out to Nikia Ocean and Air Travel. The desert safari today was speechless. It was absolutely amazing. I will add a link in. If you guys do come to Dubai, 
please book with them because their services are second to none. But absolutely loving Dubai. This place is magnificent. Catches.